What is up guys, my name is Kevin, welcome back to the channel, and today I'm going to show you how to level your bed on your Ender 3 V2. This is an extremely easy thing to do, but it's also extremely important to do. Um, yeah, what, getting a good first layer is extremely important to do. So I'm going to show you how to do this. It's very simple. Don't be scared to do this. You should do this every other print or every print if you want to. Um, one thing I do recommend upgrading is, uh, you don't have to, but it's quite nice, is uh, getting this um, Easy Flex sheet. This is an extremely nice. I'll overlay um, a part of a, or I'll throw in a, a video clip right now so you can see how easy it is to get prints off of this thing. And um, yeah, it's super cool. It, you literally just give it a little flex and they pop right off. Um, you can definitely still use your um, your glass bed that came with the printer. I used that for a long time and uh, got good results with it. But um, when I switched to the Easy Flex board here, I noticed I did not have to get, um, it was extremely noticeable, I did not have to get um, my nozzle nearly as tight to the bed to get the filament to stick. This PEI sheet, the filament just sticks extremely good to it for some reason. And also, too, if you get it really tight, um, if you get the bed tight, it creates this uh, almost matte finish. I'll show you that in the video I overlay here in a second uh, of me popping off the uh, filament. All right, so this just finished. Um, you saw the time lapse. You're supposed to wait, I believe, until the bed's under uh, 40, 40 degrees Celsius, but it's at 55 right now. You just pop this off, give this thing a flex, and it falls right off. Super cool, dude. And then it just snaps back on, and it creates this extremely smooth um, finish on But anyways, this is about leveling your bed. So the first thing you want to do is you want to um, preheat your, your, your hot end. Your bed has to be hot. Well, it doesn't have to be hot, but you're going to get a way better accurate reading. You don't want a piece of filament down there in your hot end and when you're leveling your bed and have it actually higher than it really is. So you want to go to prepare on your menu and then go to preheat PLA. I already have mine preheated. That's why you hear the printer running in the background. The next thing we want to do is we want to get a piece of paper. I just use regular pieces of paper and I rip off a, you know, a, sh a piece like this every once in a while until it gets, you know, you can tell I've been using this one here, it just gets gunk on it and then once I feel like it's garbage, I grab a new piece of paper, not a big deal. Um, so yeah, getting an ABL and uh, auto bed leveler is a very nice thing, but you don't need it. it, that just saves you time. You will get a little bit a more accurate reading with the ABL, an auto bed leveler, like a BL Touch or an Easy ABL. But I've been using this paper method, the manual method, for a long time now, and it works great. I don't have any problems with it. And combined with this uh, PTFE bed uh, bed tube it, or uh, bed sheet, it works great. Anyways, preheat your printer. A good thing to do too, you don't have to do this, but it does help, is if you take your, your wheels, these are your wheels underneath here, and you want to crank these all the way down, lowering your bed as tight as it'll possibly can be, and then adjusting your Z-stop over here on the side so that it gets closer. Um, it's not required. I'm sure it'll work fine the, where, where yours is at now, but I had a little nipple on mine on the end of my Z-stop, and I cut it off so I could lower my Z-stop switch just a little bit so I could get it my nozzle closer to the bed while having the springs cranked down. Another good thing to do is to get the upgraded bed springs um, but they're not needed. This video is about bed leveling. I'm just showing you uh, a couple things you can add on to your printer that will definitely improve, um, you know, quality of life improvements. It'll make it easier, uh, print better, and uh, make your bed leveling uh, a lot easier. But anyways, after your printer is hot, you want to go to uh, prepare, go to auto home. Your printer is going to home to the Z axis. Let's go down to your corners. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this piece of paper and we're going to stick it underneath the nozzle at all four corners. But we're not going to do the actual corners. Okay, so now it's done homing. We're going to go back on the printer. We're going to go to the next menu up or the next option up that says disable steppers. That turns off your motors. Click that. We're going to put our piece of paper underneath there and we're going to pull out our bed. So like I said, we're not going to do the exact corners way out here. Your printer never prints out there. 90% of your prints are going to take... Uh, are going to happen here in the middle so you want your, your your middle area to be way more accurate so i do i just pretend the bed is a lot smaller so i move in a couple inches excuse me this way and a couple inches that way and then i level from here so you put you you have your paper underneath there 
and you want it to be tight to the bed, tight to the nozzle, but you don't want the paper to fold. So when I push on it, I've already leveled my bed, so it's nice. You want it to drag, but if you push on the paper, you don't want the paper to buckle. You should be able to hold the paper taut and pull it back and forth. It shouldn't buckle. This is a hair loose, so I'm gonna look at the nozzle, or look at the knob. The knobs say up or down, make sure you're going the right way, and I'm gonna increase it just a little bit. I like that there, and I'm gonna slide it over. Again, I'm not going to the far edge, I'm going inset a little bit. I'm feeling this, that's a hair loose. I'm gonna move it up just a hair. Excuse my phone beeping there. So that's good right about there. It's not buckling the paper, but it's got a decent amount of drag on it. This back corner feels pretty good. I like that. Move it over to this corner. This one feels good, perfect. So it's also good to check the center. You, you want your center more than likely is going to be tighter than all your corners. Um, I don't know why that's the case, maybe that's just the way the beds are, but you always want to check the center again and make sure it's not too tight. Uh, my center is taut, but it's not folding, the paper isn't buckling when I push on it, so I know that's good. You should do this two times. You should do this two times. I already know mine's good, so I'm not going to do it again for sake of saving time in the video, but you should do it twice until you feel like you're a pro at it. So now that we're done, uh, Chep, which is an extremely good YouTuber, he does a uh, printing videos on uh, YouTube all the time. He's extremely knowledgeable. Um, yeah, definitely a good resource to check out on YouTube. His name's uh, Chep. It's C uh, C H E P, I believe. It's initials for his business or something. He has a test print file that creates, uh, after you do this, you run this test print file and it's a good way to check if your bed is level. So I'm gonna go to prepare. I already have this loaded. I will link this in the description. Uh, it says uh, Chep bed level print and I'll show you exactly how to check this. So after you've got it leveled, you feel like it's good, you're gonna run the test print. And this test print is gonna create a bunch of squares around your bed. It's changing the temperature. I had my bed set to 60 and the G code set to uh, 50 on this. Um, here it goes, it's gonna do a purge line and then it's gonna start. So the point of this is, is to check your lines and to make sure you're getting good bed adhesion. Um, I'll, I'll lay a picture up here on the screen or overlay a picture of what good bed adhesion looks like. You don't want your filament squished, but you don't want it not sticking. So as you can see, it's printing these lines, it's gonna do squares, and what you wanna do while this is printing is you wanna take one of your fingers and you wanna run it over the lines. You should not be able to knock these lines off. If you can knock them off, your bed is too loose. You need to tighten, uh, you need to tighten it closer to your nozzle, okay? If the lines are super thin or not coming out, or they, um, they're not coming out or they're, they're extremely thin where you can barely see them, that means your nozzle is too tight. You need to loosen it up a little bit. So as this is going, you're basically running your finger around it and checking to make sure that it doesn't fall off anywhere. So this print will continue goes on and it just keeps going in a circle. Those look good. You should not be able to knock these lines off. These are nice thin lines. This print will just keep going to it. It'll build these up taller. Once it gets to the center, you just stop it. And uh, yeah, you can, you can either run it again or, um, or be done with it. But again, you just wanna run your finger over all these lines. You should not be able to knock off any of these lines. Oh, I knocked one off. I've done it like 10 times. That could mean that corner is a hair too loose. So I'm gonna tighten that corner down after this print and I would run it again until I got this perfect. So it's done with all the squares now. It's gonna start redoing them. I'm just gonna cancel the print. Once it finishes this line, it's gonna go back to its home position. And then I'm gonna go to prepare and disable steppers. They're probably already disabled, but I'm gonna, um, I just like to do that so I don't mess them up. Slide my print out, and as you can see, I knocked that one loose. I knocked two of them there. So that means this corner is not tight enough. But the center is good. So that's just a very small amount. So I'm just gonna move this knob in the back corner up just a hair. This easy flex plate, we can take our plate off. Doesn't work too well with strings because these just pop off with a fingernail. But any large prints, they just pop right off. It's amazing, I love this freaking. I, uh, I just got this fairly recently and I'm pretty pissed off I didn't uh, 
get it earlier because it's such a freaking awesome uh, print surface. But anyways, pull this off and we'll run it again. So I've, I'm preheating my nozzles. I'll go to auto home and I'm going to double check my, uh, I'm going to double check my bed level and I'm going to do it specifically back in that corner. I know that corner needs to go up just a little bit. So we've auto homed it. We're going to disable the steppers. I'm going to pull it out, put my paper in. If you can't get your paper in, it's okay to press down just a hair and slide your paper in. Um, my corner's a hair low, so if you just put your paper in right away, you shouldn't have an issue. So this feels, I like that. That's good right there. That's good there. Yeah, that is still a hair too loose. So I'm going to move this up just a hair. Maybe a hair more. All right, that looks good. This corner's good. Check the center again. So the center's good. See, it's almost on the chance of buckling the paper in my hand. It's not crinkling it, but if I hold it right, I can still slide it back and forth. That's what you want. You don't want it to fold and crumple uh, when it goes through. So move your nozzle back or your paper back out. And I'm going to run the test print again. Check bed level test print. And you would continue to do this until you get the, the bed level print to come out perfect, where the lines look great. Uh, they're not too smushed, they're not flat, but you can't knock them off the print surface. That's how you know you've got good bed adhesion and a good first layer. Um, should start in one second now. Here we go, purge line again. And you should level your bed. Um, if you're doing this manually, you should do it um, every other print. You, theoretically, you probably should do it every print. There'll probably be some guys in the comment that say, yes, you should check your bed level every print. But if you're using the, the orange bed springs and you're fairly decent at it now, um, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. I normally do it every other print, or if it's a, a large print, I'll always make sure to... Uh, geez, I knocked that corner off too. My bed's probably dirty. <laughs> so we'll let that one run through. I just printed a bunch of uh, new Raspberry Pi cases. I was figuring out which ones I like best. So I've got my fingerprints all over the frickin', uh, all over the bed. So it's probably dirty. Um, if your bed is dirty, that's another thing that you should mention while bed leveling, if you're not getting good bed adhesion, is buy yourself some uh, isopropyl alcohol. You can get this on Amazon. I'll link it in the description if you're interested. It's like eight bucks for a giant bottle. And uh, you just take a, a paper towel I have some sitting here. Take a paper towel, uh, drip drip some on there, wipe your bed down, let it dry, and uh, you're good to go. So we know this corner is a hair too loose. I like mine to not smush super hard, so I'm a weirdo like that. I probably should be running it a hair tighter, but I like to be on the edge of where it's just properly sticking, but it's not as tight as it uh, as it should be. So. I already raised this corner back up. We'll wait till it reprints the next layer. Don't get your fingers pinched in there. We can go ahead and stop the print now. And check it out. And just keep repeating this process until you get it right. Um, it's not hard. It's something you definitely should, should learn how to do well. And then... Uh, yeah, I hope this was helpful. Um, if you're interested in any other guides for the Ender 3 V2, I have a bunch on my channel. Um, let me know if you have any questions below. We have a Discord community. I'd appreciate uh, if you like the video and subscribe to the channel. We have a bunch of uh, 3D printing content as well as FPV content. And if you're interested in any other uh, type of you know setup videos or review videos or anything like that, please let me know. Um, I'm still starting off on YouTube and uh, yeah, just really excited to create content that people are looking for or people that, that are helping that's helping people. So thanks for watching guys. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Peace.